Alright guys, it's time to do another tag. Let's talk about my library. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing another tag called the uh, My Personal Library tag. I first saw this tag recently on Nerdy Cathy's channel. She's a fellow Aussie booktuber who has a great channel over there. She's funny, she speaks very well, she's very knowledgeable about books and if you haven't checked her channel out, I've put the link below in the description so be sure to do that and uh, thank you to uh, Cathy for the tag. She didn't actually tag me as such but I thought it was a good one to do. So here we go with the questions. Question number one, do you have some books around or do you think of yourself as having a collection or personal library? For me, I definitely class myself as having a collection or library for sure. I don't uh, have books all around the house. I like to keep them all in one spot. Uh, question number two, what does a collection or personal library mean to you? It means it's just for myself and my family to enjoy. I don't loan out books, selfish as that is, and it also means hundreds of possibilities and so many options and uh, opportunities uh, for my reading future. I've got stacks of books here that uh, you know will keep me going for a very, very long time. Question three, what is your personal library for? Very simple answer, it's for me and reading. That's uh, the simplest way I can answer that question. Question number four, where is your personal library? Contained to a single room or spread out all about the house? So I partially answered that in question number one. So I have all my books contained in the one space, which is my library slash office, which you can see behind me uh, is the bulk of the collection. And just over here uh, on the wall next to the window, I have another small bookshelf that uh, I have a bit of non-fiction and a few odds and ends uh, in there. So uh, all in one room. Question number five, how many books make up your personal library? I did a count yesterday and uh, when I decided to do this tag, I thought, well, it wouldn't hurt to do a bit of a, a stock take. And I counted up to 808 books, which uh, is more than I thought. But uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that and uh, there's no sign of stopping anytime soon. I'll always be buying books and the number of books I have will always be growing for the foreseeable future. Uh, I don't see any way that's going to stop. Question number six, how do you organize your personal library? There are many ways to organize a library. Some people like to do it alphabetically. Some people like to do it by color. I myself like to do it by genre. I like that if I'm in the mood for a specific genre, for example, if I'm really in the mood for a high fantasy or whatever, it's good to know that all my fantasy books are in the one spot on one set of shelves. I find them easier to find that way and I just like to segregate my genres and uh, it, it works for me. It's a very personal thing and as I said, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Uh, whatever works for anyone basically, but uh, certainly organizing by genre is my way to go. Question number seven. Do you keep track of your personal library? If so, how? I don't keep track of my personal library. I plan on cataloguing everything in the future, but uh, I'm in no rush uh, because it's a massive job and I don't have the time. Uh, I prefer to track my reading instead, and I do that on Goodreads mainly, so that uh, you know I participate in the uh, yearly reading challenges and uh, so I can set goals. Uh, and really keep track of um, how long it takes me to read books and that sort of thing. But uh, you know, maybe one day I will catalog everything in my collection. Okay, question number eight. How do you decide to add a book to your personal library? I just buy books. <laughs> I just, if, if I wanna buy a book, I buy it. Uh, I used to procrastinate a little bit and uh, I've uh, said to myself many times, just buy the bloody thing and uh, I certainly don't regret it. So that's a very, very simple answer. Um, I just want a book and I buy it. It's that simple. Question number nine. When it's time to cull your personal library, how do you decide what stays and what goes? I haven't needed to do a cull yet because I haven't finished filling my space. Uh, on the shelves behind me, I do have a little bit more room for a few more books, but uh, it won't be long before a new shelf is needed. And if you can see over to your left, there's a bit of wall space there I've got in between the last shelf and the doorway. And I've, I've measured about three times to make sure. And it turns out I can add another bookshelf, uh, which will uh, have the potential to house 
probably a thousand books in total by the time I add that shelf. So um, in terms of a cull, uh, that's not going to happen anytime soon, but uh, when I do uh, add the other shelf and fill it, then it will be time for a cull. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. All right, question number 10. Does your personal library have books you haven't read or may not read? The simple answer to that question is yes. All the books you see behind me, have I read them all? Hell no. I have probably got, uh, out of my library, I the books I haven't read would take up about maybe 70%. <laughs> so uh, a very simple answer to that question. And uh, yeah, the majority of them I do plan on reading one day. So they will be read. Uh, maybe one or two may never be read. We'll see how that goes. But uh, the majority of them I plan on reading someday in the future. All right. Question number 11. What do you think about the idea of a zero TBR? Now this is a really interesting question and this came to light for me recently. I had always planned what I'm going to read for the forthcoming month. I would do a TBR video for uh, the next month, picking out what I uh, plan on reading and uh, decided to tank it purely because whatever I decided to plan to read for the forthcoming month never happened. By the time that month came uh, around, whatever books I had picked, some of them I weren't in the mood for and went off on a tangent and picked something else. It just proved to me that uh, planning a TBR for myself uh, didn't actually work, which is why I've done away with TBR videos for the time being. What I'm doing for June is wiping the slate clean. I haven't planned on anything to read for June. I've got a rough idea on some of the books I'd like to uh, to read but I haven't locked anything in and I don't want to lock anything in because I want a little bit more freedom to read whatever the hell I want instead of placing a lot of pressure on myself by some, uh, putting a video out saying this is my TBR this is what I'm going to read and not following through so I'm really excited to be uh, free for June I don't know what I'm going to be reading and uh, I won't have uh, books stacked up on my desk to look at leading up to the month thinking, oh, I've got these to read. Do I still want to read those ones or try something new? So we'll see how that goes, but uh, I'm really excited about the freedom uh, of not having a TBR. So there we go. So I'm all for a zero TBR and I do thank Ollie over at Criminoli. His channel is great. He um, inspired me to ditch the TBRs because uh, he addressed my elephant in the room that, um, you know, TBRs weren't working for me. It works for a lot of people and good on them, but uh, I've decided to uh, do away with those. So there you go. All right, and for the final question, number 12, how do you feel about or towards your personal library? In a nutshell, I love it. I love being around books. I like to look at my books and just enjoy them. Uh, there might be a, you know, if I'm um, in my day job, if there's a little bit of uh, downtime, I will just ra randomly thumb through a book just for the hell of it and uh, just like to admire my own collection. So uh, the, 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 the best thing about uh, how I feel about my personal library is on a warm sunny day, the afternoon light hits this window here and the sunlight that floods in activates the aroma of the books. So um, of an afternoon, if I come back in after lunch, for example, and uh, the sun's nice and shiny, my office library will smell like a used bookstore. There's nothing like it. Um, it's very intoxicating. So, you know, it's how um, bookworms get high, right? So there we go, guys. That is it for my personal library tag. And if you're watching this, consider yourself tagged. I'd like to see um, your tag videos and uh, share with me what your library's like if you answer those questions. Uh, it's a really good tag and I had a blast with it. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and always leave comments below and I'll always respond to those. But uh, until next time, guys, see you later.